Okay, now you can talk. Hello, everyone. Come down. Six number sixty nine. <laughs> nice, huh? Every episode sixty nine. <laughs> yeah. Every episode is come down sixty nine dash whatever the, actual, the actual number, number is. Number point. Like can whatever, we start? Yeah. The, can we start naming, titling them that? Sure. I don't get it though. You don't get it. No. Sixty nine. Okay. So okay. Go okay. ahead, Adam. If you picture a guy upside down mm-hmm. sucking um, another guy's sucking dick, another guy's dick. <laughs> Well, okay. they're both sucking each other's dicks, right? Yeah. At the same time. I get it. It what resembles like if their mouths are the tops of the nine, the circle part of the nine and the circle part of the six. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then the tops, it? the bottom of the nine and the bottom of the six represents penises. No, that just, it seems like two penises in like a, like an no. Ouroboros. It oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, it's, if, it's, if you want to think, conceive of it that way, if that's easier for you. But they don't but, look like human bodies. Right, but they look as close to a human body Mm -hmm. as the number Mm -hmm. looks as close to those two human bodies as any other number out there. It comes from the uh, ancient Yin Yang, which was the first 69. (laughs) That's right. Which was uh, developed by... It was a guy named Yin. The dot. And a guy named Yang. David David Carradine from (laughs) Kung Fu. (laughs) The dot represents the dot on their head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, what kind of Indian are you? A feather kind? Or, yeah. the, uh... or swastika. <laughs> I'm <a> sw- <laughs> that is theirs, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's theirs. We're, we're taking it back, though. We're uh, taking it back. Yeah, oh, Jay- really? Is, are Jews... Yeah, yeah, Jews. And wording the swastika now. <laughs> They're yeah, just taking yep, it. It's theirs. ours now. Yeah, we're putting it on tunics and stuff. <laughs> making Jainism. fashion items. Jainism. They use this, the, like, Nazi swastika. Jainism? Yep. Jainism. It's like a black swastika over red. Oh, nice. But isn't it backwards or something? Nope. It's the same direction. Really? I got into an argument with an Indian kid, like, at his house. <laughs> at, like, when? A, I don't know, like, ten years ago at a party. Oh, nice. I was like, dude, that's a fucking Nazi, Nazi swastika. And he's like, no, it goes in the other direction. And I was like, it absolutely doesn't. No one had a smartphone then, so you couldn't look uh, it up. Oh, yeah, seven, yeah. Years, ten years ago. Yeah. yeah. Was this a high school party? A Montgomery County high school party? Um... It wasn't a high school party. I mean, I was like a t- it, it was like a teenager, yeah, but it wasn't ten years. That's seventeen. You were right? at a grown up party, but you were yeah, kid. you were cool. I don't even know if it was a grown up party. I mean, there was probably like f- ten people at this kid's house to drink. Was it a boy girl or just boy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you was, call a group of ten guys hanging out a party, it was fucking <laughs> so well, good. You know, <laughs> if you were to call that a party, yeah, I was at a party. <laughs> All of his uh, all of his aunts and uncles were there, <laughs> and uh, his whole it was yeah, in a cheesecake his whole family factory. was there. I sort of just walked in. They're having I, dinner. Yeah, <laughs> and then I see these swastikas all over the place, and I'm like, "This is fucked up. Your whole fucking family's fucked up. Get out of my neighborhood." <laughs> and uh, you know, it was a party. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, any yeah. other party. You've you ever called some to. of your family members to come and yeah, mm-hmm. meet his and take punch, over, slap him around a little bit. Yeah, take over the house. Sounds um, fun. Yeah, no, they really got fucked on the swastika. It's mm-hmm. a cool. It looks cool, graphic design wise. Yeah, pretty cool. That's uh, what also, Trump. Trump oh. was trying to make the Jewish star into the his swastika <laughs> with the Hillary thing. With the Hillary thing, he was trying to like change it into his swastika. But then they were like, "Not so fast, Trump." You know, is that that's all I got? Uh, <laughs> they're looking at me like I should have a follow up, but I really. <laughs> It's a riff. <laughs> Didn't really go anywhere. What are you going to do? It's been a hard week. I think that he was unfairly way? treated over that thing. They're like, oh, this is anti-Semitism. The thing about Donald Trump is like, if he was anti-Semitic, he would just be anti-Semitic. <laughs> it's not like he would be like, let's sneak it in through no, a picture. No. We got to put it sneaky in a Hillary picture. He would just no, be like, the, problem, the Jews are raping people's money. They've no, taken the money. He had, the- he had a ton of close personal friends and mentors that were Jews. Like Roy Cohn, the McCarthy lawyer, uh-huh. could do from Angel, the Al Pacino's character in Angels of America. Yeah, but like the only Jews he associated with were like the biggest pieces of shit. Like, oh, like, nice. Like you know, fucking you know, worst examples of Jews. Right, you know, right, yeah. right. Perfect stereotype Jews. When Roy Cohn got AIDS. Because uh, he was gay and in the closet his whole life, Trump completely abandoned him. Never, Whoa, really? Never visited him in the hospital. That's awesome. Yeah, it was, well, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. Well, his daughter, <laughs> yeah, you don't know. How, you his daughter is married to a Jew and converted. The oh, one he wants to fuck. Really? Yeah, Jerry Kushner's Jewish. Kushner? Kush, dude. Hell yeah. What? Why do they call it converted and not transition? Kush. <laughs> You should transition, <laughs> like if you could transition into to Islam. Trans Jewish? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't think it's because be it allowed. is transitioning. You know, if you identify, right? Hmm? That's transitioning. I don't it's, think anyone should convert to Judaism personally. <laughs> well, any religion. 
It should be called transitioning instead of converting. I had a neighbor named uh, Alejandro Alvarez, uh, like a Mexican guy growing up in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And uh, he cheated on his wife and had like a... An, sec an awakening he's like uh, i'm actually jewish <laughs> and he <laughs> he fucked his way into judaism yeah so he was like i'm, I'm saved now uh t to save the marriage he decided to become jewish yeah. and he converted three times uh reform conservative no orthodox and my dad's like he like took me aside he's like and then he went from al to or alejandro to eliyahu and then my Hell dad yeah. was like uh you know he had three circumcisions <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, what was left? Yeah, because they do it differently. What Each was type left? does it differently. No, he said that the second time after they take the force, he had an adult, he was an adult man oh, who had geez. a circumcision. Which yeah. is fucked up because all those tools are made for babies' penis. It's true. <laughs> so it's, true. it's very <laughs> difficult to get an accurate cut on a man's penis. Especially when he did it orthodox style and he had a grown man suck the blood <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you actually have to get a baby rabbi. If you're a grown man and you get the circumcision, <laughs> you get it. it has yeah, you get to be a baby, a baby rabbi. It's that's only fair. Penis. It's only fair. It's yeah, yeah. Dick, it's like a well, pacifier. It's it's a sin if either party, you know, one of the parties has to not be able to remember what happened. <laughs> right. Then there's plausible deniability. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how it works in the eyes of God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You date rape yourself. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. The eyes of Yahweh. And then you wake up with the circumcision. What's the one you can't say? Is it Yahweh or is it Adonai? Are you not supposed Adonai. to say that? You can't say it. But guess what? I'm saying it on the fucking Comptown Damn. podcast. <laughs> so that's like a that's God's N word. That's, yeah. yeah. No. You, you can I like only... a guy that for Jews. He's like only I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> you it's can like, do soft A, which is like the dash, Adonai. like G G dash D. Yeah, that's like soft A. That's, that's like yeah, humiliating. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. I saw a tweet that had the G slash D. The other, I forgot who it was, G and it was just like D? I just wanted to punch my computer. Yeah, because you can't write God's name. No. Yeah, yeah. You've never seen that before? I've never seen that, no. So they write G like Who is dash this? D. Who, Jews or? Jews. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, but like only the most annoying kind. Why do they have Twitter then? Um, I forgot who it was. It might have been that, that guy Rabbi To tell Rabbi people they're Jewish. Do you know that kind <laughs> yeah. of thing? Yeah. To Twitter, I'm Jewish, by the way. <laughs> to tweet at Panera because their fucking sandwich wasn't good. <laughs> do they do that? Well, they can't eat there because it's not kosher. Uh, yeah, Guys, right. get on Twitter. Check the... The at tweets Hebrew directed National. at Panera. Find out if Jews. Not just Panera, do a, but just any, do a, a Twitter search a for one? G slash D, and you'll find the most in, annoying people on it. Probably. Earth. What's yeah. a kosher restaurant that um, Jews eat at? Einstein's there. Bagels. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's probably one of them, right? That's got to no. be kosher. There's uh, no way that's kosher. That shit sucks. What do you mean? There's no way that's, that's kosher. microwave. Oh, you know what is kosher? Krispy Kreme donut. Really? Yep. They got a. They have a. Heck, sure. Why we just talk about Jew stuff on this podcast? No, because one likes we it. have to know the enemy. Oh, you know uh, I mean? yeah, that's true. We have to learn yeah. him. Well, you're the only he, one with He culture. stands ready no to cares. strike. No one cares about Greece. <laughs> we stop. As a rich culture, they invented. How butt dare sex. you say no one cares? You come about from. Greece. You come from the creators butt of fucking. anal sex. <laughs> All freaky shit, dude. I like we that did. the Romans basically just took, stole everything. everything good, and then the rest they were like, "We'll leave that." And then this is the culture that people want to learn about. And no, then that's the more interesting one. They just changed the names of the gods. And yeah, kept having sex. With Rome boys. was just more successful, but we had all the cool shit, dude. They didn't fuck any children. That's not true. No, they no fucked. Way. They fucked kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really? I think just people people, people yeah, yeah. didn't stop fucking children until like nineteen thirty seven. Then prior to that, it was like okay to fuck kids. You know, it's like like a. Uh, I guess like child porn used to like not be like a serious issue until like the <laughs> like mid eighties. Would you what? see? Did you see like capturing the Freedmans? No, I didn't. The guy like orders child porn and gets it delivered to his house, and like it was like a sting operation. They were like, "Come on, just don't do this." And he's That's like, so "All right, funny. yeah." <laughs> and they just, just sort of yeah get think, child porn mailed to you. Yeah, I think it's because of like the internet maybe or something. I don't know because it became like a cyber crime rather right, than right, right. something that like local police departments handled or. But that'd be, that's hilarious. There but in Greece, booming industry. Oh yeah, that's the only industry we have left is tourism and child porn. Yeah, is aren't there, like the bathhouses in like uh, Pompeii? Aren't like wasn't the art all over just like that's little kids Italy. getting their dick sucked? Yeah. What's know. that? That's Italy, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Little Italy. Yeah, it's, it's little Italy, man. In Little Italy, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's on Mott Street. <laughs> yeah. You get a cannoli, you get your dick sucked by a seventeen-year-old named Giuseppe. 
One of my favorite Little Italy moments, I was at the San Gennaro Festival like two or three years ago, and I was just walking with my cousin, and some like, like just this complete stereotype, like this yeah. fucking, you know, we- like a guinea, wearing a guinea tea, you mm-hmm. know, like fucking wiping his mouth with a <laughs> handkerchief. <laughs> I mean, he's just got this fucking white handkerchief, and he's just wiping his fucking mouth as he comes up to us. And we didn't say anything to him. <laughs> We're just, like, you know, standing on the corner, and he comes up to us, and he's, like, you know, sucking his teeth. And he's, like, you want to have the best fucking thing you ever had? <laughs> you go down the, down the block, halfway. There's a place called Cannoli King. They got a thing. It's not a cannoli. Looks like a cannoli. But it's not a cannoli. It's got it's like an ice cream cone with the cannoli filling in it. You try one. <laughs> Start off with one. <laughs> See if you don't get a fucking other one after that. <laughs> Is that when you started your alt? No. That was actually when I was just in Secaucus and I couldn't stop saying Secaucus in that voice. <laughs> Secaucus. Hey, Secaucus. When I see caucus, I suck caucus. <laughs> <laughs> if, you see, if you see caucus, you suck caucus. I'm on the see caucus diet. When I see caucus, I suck caucus. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's so much fun to do that voice. It's the best voice, dude. I'm sucking a fucking dick in the pussy. Sticking a fucking dick in the pussy. Sucking a fucking dick in the pussy. Sucking a fucking dick in the pussy. Yeah, my cousin uh, uh, from the other side uh, came <laughs> over. He's from across the pond. <laughs> <laughs> When are we going to do yeah. uh, going on a loo? I just <laughs> found out there was an ocean in between <laughs> here and Italy, so. <laughs> oh, fuck. When are we going to do a full come town on Sopranos? We're all Sopranos heads. Uh, I I mean, it would it, it would be against our, our model of planning. Uh, yeah, we can't plan anything. anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. What are, what's going on this week? We were all at Montreal. We were all at the Just for Last Festival yeah, we all had this week. We, we, we all had headlining line. shows yeah. at uh, the Just for Last Festival. It was great. It was awesome. Um, you know the thing I like most about Montreal? They know how to treat you up there, man. They treat you good and put, poutine. 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 Uh, oh, we Which had, is yeah, the French word poutine. for pussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a pussy um, snack. A, a lot of people don't know this, but actually half the words in the French language <laughs> mean pussy. Mean pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. They love rape. Man, <laughs> France is just, it's fucked up now. Yeah, they dude. keep getting terrorists. To, to, uh, well, they no. were really chill yeah. towards Muslims for a really long time. Yeah, that yeah, they fucking were so welcoming. That truck thing was insane. I mean, I really had no idea. They were like, he killed a hundred people with with a truck. one truck. Jeez. Yeah, and it was like, what the truck explode? They're like, no, he just ran over people. Holy, that he's just playing Grand Theft yeah, Auto. Yeah, it's like just. Get out of the way of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they were dude, watching you can the truck if it's coming at you. Well, it was a, like it was a parade. He just drove through like a mile oh, worth of holy. like a parade. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's so funny. Me and Adam just clearly show that we've never even looked this thing up once. Yeah. I, well, you yeah. know what? You know what's funny? It's like, <laughs> oh my god, really? That's this shit happened like a month ago. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> you that know, sounds terrible. <laughs> France? Wow. <laughs> Did fucking uh, here, there's too many parades in New York. Mm-hmm. And sure. they, like, if you need to go, like, across town... Uh, You're fucked. Yeah, during... Too many, many parades. They have a Puerto Rican parade every two and a half days. Yeah. <laughs> and they fucking, you know... Yeah. <laughs> they clog up the streets. So... You know, I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, we but just, I just <laughs> yeah, France not enough. Parades. If you yeah, get rid of one parade. Not that which it's one? not enough. I mean, that's I guess what's the, the worst obvious parade joke to make. But what's that? What's the worst parade? Uh, I would say any one of the Puerto Rican Day parades because there's so many of them. It's like Truck Month. They have a fucking Puerto Rican parade. <laughs> Ford Truck Month. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got a you got a truck? <laughs> you need a ride home in my truck. <laughs> St. Patrick's is is bad. Those well, yeah. Bad. Now they like gay people marching it. It used hey. to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> when did that stop? Right. When did they start letting gay people? Uh, like last March, year. Like two, yeah. De Blasio was like, you know, we're sending you back to Ireland unless you let gay people <laughs> drive all the floats. <laughs> they kept crashing because they were giving each other roadhead. Yeah, that's what they do. Because they're gay and they can't stop sucking yeah, it's cock true. for even a second. Yeah. It's true. They need in gay culture one guy to look at the road uh, yeah. and the other guy, three guys to be sucking. <laughs> Each of their sticks in the back, <laughs> in the black back of the flatbed pickup truck. Well, I guess French French Canada is the new France now because regular France is ruined. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're never coming back mm-hmm. at this point, right? It's true. It's done. That's that's like mm-hmm. that, those are just going to be they more. They keep attacks. fucking Fran- yeah. Yeah, France. Up. And they, yeah, and the president's spending uh, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month on haircuts, and he's bald. So is that real? I don't know if that's the right figure, but that just came out. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> but yeah, that's he, a lot of haircuts. Yeah, he gets a lot of haircuts. Um, they make him look less bald. I'm asking for no reason, because I'm a man with hair. I think it's just maybe it's like they keep a like a girlfriend on retainer. Uh-huh. They all like have yeah. Everyone in France just really cheats on their wives, mistresses. Yeah. Seems well, awesome. everyone and is... we see nothing wrong with uh, Roman Polanski <laughs> or having a sex with a child. It's uh, it's uh, art. Uh, if you see his movies, it's a uh, p- perfect art. <laughs> I, w- I just wish we could go back to hating them. Remember how much we used to hate France? Yeah, Freedom Fries, baby. Yeah, even before that. I mean, they were just, they're just such a yeah. Since World War Two, everyone they're the so whole... rude. Yeah, yeah, they're very rude people. Because yeah. they pushed out, you know, let the fucking Germans right in there. Yeah. I feel like since then, the stereotypes have all been negative. French Canada, though, those guys are all right. Yeah, they treated us good up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, up there yeah. in Montreal. Montreal. While we were there the entire the week, Montreal headlining just for, just for Last Festival. Yeah. yeah. Um, and by the way, folks, it's not just for laughs. It's also for money. We made... Uh, make good money. Probably about 40 grand a piece. 40, I made 80 Off grand. each I, show. 40,000 loonies, so you, I'd uh, convert it. Yeah. Which is more money. Which is more. Looney is... Yeah. Yeah, it's or more their money less. is retarded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's literally Looney Looney Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Looney Tunes. <laughs> they name their money. After. I made sixty five Tazes, just twelve Tweety Birds. Anybody gonna jump in here? Yeah, four Ch- Sylvester's. Yo, uh, uh, when are we gonna three. get um, <laughs> uh, Porky Pig? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, now we're riffing. I was like looking online the other day for those uh, like Cholo. Uh, Looney Tunes t-shirts the yeah. other day. Yeah, oh, those are great. Oh, the airbrush yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like Sylvester like... with a gun on the front <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah. El Camino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it just says the N-word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to get one of those. They all yeah. have like baggy ass pants. Yeah, yeah. Those are... Mexican yeah. kids in my high school just had like... They they rocked those real Also, hard. Yeah. if you see the police Warner Brother. Yeah. Did we talk about that on the podcast? Uh, what? The old fucking no blacks on the TV screen sketch? Did we talk about that? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. You remember that? That Chris Rock, like, no blacks on the TV screen? No. And it's like, uh, uh, yeah, he goes through every network, and he's like, UPN, underpaid Negroes, oh, uh, yeah. ABC, anything but collards, <laughs> uh, WB, where's the brothers? Oh, no, I was talking about the yeah, shirt. Yeah, the Warner Brothers shirt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. The, with the Warner Brothers font. That's Warner like, Brothers. When you yeah, see yeah, the police, yeah. Warner Brothers. That was a good one. Yeah. That's a good that was one. back when police brutality was still funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before camera phones yeah. had to make it too <laughs> real. Yeah. Everything. Ugh. Yeah, I remember that was like, a, like people are like, wow, can you believe the police unfairly target black people? I'm like, yeah, that's... We knew that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We kind of just sort of laughed at it. That it's was, like, yeah. Now we, that was the trade-off. You get to be cool, <laughs> but the police are going to kill you. But it's you're cool. Right. You are really cool. You're really it's cool. It's a fact. It's, yeah. You know, I like um, I, I like that sagging has gotten to, there's, um, have you seen the guys that have multiple layers of pants that they're sagging? Yeah. Well, that was like an old thing, like basketball shorts, boxers, and then jeans. Yeah. Right? Remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's That was like in high school. That, yeah. No, I didn't people, see that. This is new to me. I've really? seen that really? now. No, yeah. people are doing it now, though, but with tight ass. Like, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. fucking, the thighs are tight, but uh-huh. they still sag their shit all the way. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, like compression yeah. pants, like boxers, Under Armour compression pants. Yeah. Then fucking uh, jo- uh, jo- jogging Yeah, the sweats, joggers. And yeah. then uh, a pair of... Uh, <laughs> One layer is just a dress. <laughs> yeah, it's a dress, and then back to pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You just yeah, have yeah, to wear yeah. your entire wardrobe at once. Did you guys watch any uh, DNC action? No. No, I didn't, didn't watch we, it. Didn't that happen? Did that happen in between the last one? Didn't we already uh, talk about we that? We were talking. We had, no, had the podcast said, during the DNC. And you said, are you watching? And we both said no. And then you talked about it anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that is what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, you're trying to ma- get us to like learn shit. No, nah, yeah, man. And we got to have for that shit. Let's talk well, about gay you. shit we did as children. We well, got to yeah. have. We got to have a, a, a guest. We got to have a celebrity guest. No. I feel like the last. I've gotten too comfortable wearing free clothes. We'll get a cel- celeb guest. I got my Mountain Dew shirt on. We get you do. You do look great. I do. 
I'm we, sorry. I, I put on just, bathing suit. Yeah, <laughs> we'll fucking bathing suit pulled up. I can yeah, see yeah, one of those balls. That's a good summertime nice. look, dude. What it's khaki. Yeah. It looks like it's khaki or well, uh, deep green, and then white flower print. Yeah. Oh, well, they're like Mountain Dew They're shirt. like Hawaiian flowers. Hawaiian flowers. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's uh, good. They're the kinds that are in like lays. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, one time, uh, it was my great grandmother's hundredth birthday. Is she dead now? She's dead now. Hell yeah. Fucking bitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> that old bitch dead as fuck, babe. I'm I have a little so respect. Fuck that old bitch. I'm about I'm to teabag so her happy. fucking coffin. She's I have a little dead. respect for the I'm dead. I'm so what, happy. Uh, what cemetery is she Thank. buried in? Christ. Uh, I want to dig it up and piss I don't know. in it. I mean, she went into the towers and her body vaporized, so. <laughs> <laughs> she actually We're not going to have a funeral with no body. <laughs> 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 She died. She died She's a hundred years old. Uh, she actually yeah. died in nine eleven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a tragedy. She had so much more life to live. Yeah. Well, she was a firefighter. Yeah, she was a first responder. <laughs> she was a nine eleven firefighter. Uh, my grandmother, Steve Ranazzi. <laughs> you see how the hell he took? How about it would be if, if I was like a hundred years old, I would go around lying about being in nine eleven. Hell yes, Steve. that would be the funniest. Hundred percent. If I was like a hundred years old, I'd be like, I was one of the first. people people in the towers in 9-11 happened. I, I, I carried 30 just in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna Been on dialysis it? since 1979. <laughs> I carried 15 people all the way from the top floor down to the ground floor. <laughs> and I saved them. Actually, one of the towers didn't fall down for, for a while because I was holding it up myself. <laughs> Is this Mr. Jack Lemon? Are you here yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh what you do God. is, see, you're gonna. I tell you, I get her right there, and I bend her over, and then here's what I do: I fuck her. That's what I do. <laughs> Jack Lemon describing how he would have sex with a woman is. It's a bit we do on the train, me and Adam. <laughs> pretend we don't know each other, and then we uh, go up and pretend to be Jack Lemon. <laughs> just whispering how he would fuck a woman in the other person's ear. You would see what you, yeah, have you heard about this? What you do is you bend her over, okay? Right, right when she least expected, you jam it right into her fucking pussy. And I tell you, I had her right there. 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 She was sitting right there, and then I, I, I just, I, 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 I closed. Her. I, I closed. I tell you, God damn it, I tell you, Shelly still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, I still got it. I still got it. Um, um, yeah, what were we talking about? Oh, 9-11? Your grandmother, it's so funny, your dead-ass huh? oh, yeah, yeah, grandmother. Yeah. So she's telling a fucking story. We're there for her, like, 100th birthday. Ugh. And I, uh, well, yeah, no, it was t- disgusting. But, like, so my grandfather, her <laughs> son, she's is sitting there. she old people shit on her mouth. The yeah, yeah. Her she's, mouth. she's sitting where you're sitting, and my mm-hmm. grandfather's sitting where I'm sitting. And I was sitting, like, over where... My uh, this helps the listener. My yeah. Milwaukee seven and a half inch tilt lock uh, power <laughs> yeah. saw. Nick's got a saw for some reason. Yeah, I got a big fucking saw, bitch. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was sitting over where the saw is. Keep, and yeah. My grandfather's like watch, like he's like you know like listening so intently to the story and leaning forward. And one of his balls <laughs> is just completely <laughs> like jackass. Bitch. It's like one of his That's fucking balls awesome. is just completely hanging out of his shorts, <laughs> and it's like a fucking tennis ball. He had this <laughs> huge ball, this giant ball, just That's hanging awesome. out of his fucking out of his shorts. Anyhow, the story she's telling why this why this is a good anecdote that'll lead up time is uh, you know I guess she lived she was living somewhere in in D.C. off Georgia Avenue I guess when she was like a kid and she was like and we lived uh, on the corner of Georgia Avenue and I remember we would go outside in the afternoon and there was this Chinaman that would, <laughs> that would sell apples and me and my friend Suzanne would run up and we'd pull his tail and steal his apples and laugh and laugh and laugh. And and my, family's, my family's just like laughing at this story. I'm like, that's a hate crime. Yeah. Pull his pull tail? His yeah, she meant like his cue. It's yeah, like yeah, boxer yeah. rebellion right. cue. They'd pull his fucking hair and steal his apples. This poor Chinaman. Oh, that's just fucking trying to hilarious. live his life selling apples. Which, by the way, what a hilarious Chinese immigrant business. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, you bought apples. <laughs> oh, <hey>, apples, who's <laughs> up? My grandmother had severe Alzheimer's yeah. uh, right before she went, Hell and yeah. we were in the nursing home. And she's an old South African woman in in Las Vegas. 
she completely lost her mind at this point. And the nursing home was only for Alzheimer's people. So oh, that must the, have been the funniest it's fucking the best. place Yeah, so ever. it's just like, it's, it's scary. How many N-words get said in that fucking place? Well, <laughs> this is the story. Oh, sorry, not to step well, she, on it. No, 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 she didn't say the N-word, but um, this old... Uh, this older uh, black woman in a, like a muumuu that was like see through. You could like just Hell see her yeah. nipples like three. It, it clearly been washed like a thousand times. She <laughs> she she sat down at the table. She just starts blabbering at me and my mom. Just not even in like in words. She's just like shouting at us. And my grandmother looks at her and she looks at me and my mom and she's like. The natives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the natives. <laughs> That's all they native. Yeah, my grandfather yeah. one time referred to black people as the Negroid contingency. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is the funniest thing I've ever. Negroid <laughs> contingency. Yeah, I have no idea. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, where? He, how well, no, that's like one of those scientists that claims that fucking skull size is smaller. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. that's what they call phrenology. It. Yeah, phrenologist. Yeah, that's, they use the word. And that's, 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 there's actually some truth to it. That was the old terminology uh, for the three major racial classifications. Yeah, Negroid, Caucasoid, and Mongoloid. And Mongoloid, Mongoloid yeah. 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 which is, what, uh, is um, now a hilarious word for like retard. the Devo song. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, actually, that's where, and I think I've definitely mentioned it on the podcast before, but the, uh, the, where the term Down syndrome comes from. Right, right. You have mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, my grandmother, my mom was reading a book about, like, Greece, Greek immigrants in the 30s in, like, Russia, and the, my mom read a passage where the woman said, oh, I can't believe it, you know, it was like a predominantly Jewish area, and all the Greeks were scared of the Jews because they drank. They were told that they drank Gentile blood on oh, Passover. Yeah, yeah. yeah the and blood libel. Right, right. So yeah. my mom's telling this story, and she's like, huh, "We're all la- it's me, and my cousin. It's like yeah, the yeah, holidays. Yeah. We're all together. We're all laughing." And my grandmother just has the most confused look on her face. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, "Why is everybody laughing?" And we're like, "Grandma, isn't this hilarious? People used to think that Jews drink blood on Passover." And she's like. Yeah, they they <laughs> do. <laughs> it was just like we just started laughing at her, and then she, it was so fucking. Well, I'll tell you, nobody believes the rabbi dick sucking thing. That yeah, they're giving babies herpes. I tell people that, and they're like, "Shut up, man!" I'm like, right. "It's fucking it's real. True, yeah. It's real." Coming from you, it's tough to it's believe. True. I don't that know. Ra- you say the phrase "rabbis are sucking children's <laughs> dicks," and they're supposed to believe yeah. you in your Mountain Dew shirt, <laughs> in your fucking it's just self-made your cutoff fact. House of Cards T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, there's another thing people didn't believe me. You know, Coco the Gorilla? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Coco the Gorilla, when they would introduce new female researchers to the gorilla, Coco would demand to see their breasts and play with their nipples. And the handlers would be like, I mean, you got to do what she says. She's an 800-pound gorilla. And so there's uh, multiple women were, like, sexually assaulted by, really? by Coco the Gorilla. And I've told numerous people that, and they're like, that's not true. Is well, that we, true? You for told real? me that dolphin story. I was like, Nick, what just, dolphin story? The thing about that, they were trying to like, they filled a house like. Oh, the CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a great story. Yeah. Well, it wasn't CIA. I looked it no, up. It was, it was somewhat CIA it was some government. Thing. It was like it was a government thing. Yeah. There was government funding, but it was like a. Re- they cut it was the. A they cut the funding when they put the dolphin. Uh, okay, so the, for the listeners, <laughs> here's the story. In the 1950s, and that's important because this is after. Like we won World War Two. <laughs> right, oh right. yeah, yeah. This is after. <laughs> There's no reason for any kind of like bizarre, you know, right, right, right. experiments. No, we were like riding this. high. I mean, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. like, let's fuck well, around with we, dolphins. The Ruskies were coming out yeah. next. So okay, so this is like the era where there, you know, like there was that plan to freeze bats and attach fire bombs to them <laughs> and like uh, that was like another plan uh, <laughs> 9 11 bats yeah they they're, they're going to freeze bats <laughs> and then uh, like attach fire bombs to them and drop them so that they would wake up mid flight and then you know start spreading fire everywhere that's hilarious or or you know sorry that they would nest they would nest and then explode or some shit i don't know right something retarded yeah so there was this uh experiment where somebody hypothesized that Dolphins were intelligent enough to speak English, <laughs> um, and the pro- the problem is because is, they have advanced hearing. Yeah, like, they have advanced hearing, and they're also you know they have smart. They're they're, they're emotionally smart. intelligent. Yeah. They rape the each issue other. Was is like you know you don't know how to teach a dolphin English, so they thought like the answer was just complete immersion. So they developed this house. It's like a specially designed house where it could be flooded about the waist height. 
And they put this woman who agreed to, like, you know, be in the house. She was a research assistant. Okay, yeah. yeah. So a research assistant, um, which in those days, indistinguishable from magician's assistant. (laughs) Pretty much the same fucking job. Sometimes you'd be working with graduated cylinders. Sometimes you just get cut in half. Uh, So uh, they had this research assistant volunteer to, to live in this house that's flooded halfway with water with, like, a dolphin. That and they were like, yeah, just talk to the dolphin all the time, and you know, let us know if he starts speaking. And that, <laughs> that, was, was the- <laughs> that was the plan, and so of course nothing happened. Of course, and uh, well, the dolphin's also a young dolphin, so it started going through adolescence. All right, well, th- nothing happens. So what they do next is they're like, all right. Uh, and then again, this is the 1950s, and it's like I think I'm pretty sure it was attached to the CIA. It might have been an independent study, but there was like CIA money or something involved in yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, just say it was CIA. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. This so is the fucking CIA, man. So it's the 50s. So of course they were like, okay, well we're gonna put you on acid. We're gonna <laughs> give you LSD, and then we're gonna see what happens. And the fucking. Uh, Eventually, they're both on acid, and the dolphin starts like rubbing against the woman's this like, is legs. Where you're wrong. What do you mean? So the dolphin is like uh, an adolescent, right? So it starts getting horny. This is before they put them on acid. Okay. So he starts making it sexual. No, they put the put the, them on acid, and then they started fucking. No, they didn't fuck. I think she jacked him off. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, she <laughs> sucked the dolphin's dick and jacked it off. I mean, she sucked him off. So the dolphin was like started getting horny. And started taking a liking to the research assistant. Of course, she was So hot. at first, he'd like, just titties. bite her ankles. And he found out that that would piss her off. So then he was like, all right, you know, I can't go in so aggressive. So he started <laughs> trying to be sexy with her. Uh-huh. And, like slowly sliding the side of himself off, like against her leg and stuff. Uh-huh. Trying to be like real sexy. Did you read like, the like erotic novelization <laughs> of this fucking story. No, it's true. It's like a paragraph long. It's like, yeah. Because no, you told me when you were like probably blackout drunk, I was like, Nick made up the stupidest story about this lady <laughs> jacking off a dolphin. And then I looked it up and I'm like, holy shit, he's absolutely right. So remember, okay. remember when Andrew Bucket admitted that he was molested <laughs> in junior high? Are we talking and then, about this on the podcast? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he admitted that. Yeah, yeah. I think well, he was no, doing he a did bit. It. He did a joke, oh, but he was doing flat. a bit that he, felt he, flat. He, he no sold it, and then we were like, "Did you get molested?" And he's like, I, I, "I don't know." And then we didn't talk about it for a year. We just assumed what was he had the been bit? molested. So we were like, "Yeah, we we're getting high." We we're like at my old apartment. <laughs> Wait, a pot bit just in the room, not on stage. In the room, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just sitting around okay. talking. We we're smoking weed, and then he was like, "Um, he's like, yeah, it's yeah, weird how gym teachers are also the school nurse sometimes." And we were like, that's not true. And he was like, well, you know, they would, like, make you do, like, a testicular exam every day. And we were like, every day? No. What are you talking about? And then he was like, yeah, that's what, that's what Craig told me. My gym teacher, he used to let me call him by, by his first name. That's yeah, gotta like, be a bit. Oh. He didn't even, yeah, I mean, he he was joking, but the way he told he it. He sold it so He was well. fucked up, but, you know, he's always yeah, oh, fucked yeah, up. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it was after 7 yeah, p.m. Yeah, we were like, that's not normal, dude. Were you fucking molested? No, and I think we changed the subject because yeah, we yeah. felt so bad. Yeah, we just had to change oh, the subject. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Damn, so Bucket might have got molested. Shouts out, Andrew Bucket. No, because he <laughs> asked him. Adam asked him about it after. I asked him about it after, and I think he said he was doing a bit. But how much funnier it would be if he got molested? Hopefully he did, and we just talked about it on the podcast. No, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. No, we were talking about how they used to do um, scoliosis testing. By yeah. putting a couple of like, in your ass? Making the, the nurse would make you bend over in front of her. Yeah. And then she'd like look at your spine and see as you bent over. Like, I, if it and it was so not. embarrassing if you just had diarrhea in the nurse's face. <laughs> <laughs> just spray diarrhea all over the well, my friend face. got suspe- suspended because he he told the nurse he did like a retarded voice he goes scoliosis in my butthole <laughs> <laughs> made no sense that's a good bit yeah that's was, a classic elementary school yeah, bit yeah, you pretty, know how they had like extra good. clothes in the nurse's office in case you like shit yourself did you know that no, oh yeah well you'd wear pe clothes when well, you shit yourself I, I i mean i remember that they had extra clothes, clothes in the nurse's office in elementary school for people that shit themselves mm. Um, but those had to have been just clothes that someone else pr- had pr- previously, previously shitted yeah, yeah, and got so bleached. And then they've cleaned, and then you're just wearing secondhand shitted. You take <laughs> off shitted clothes to put on other shit. It keeps clothes. refreshing itself. There's this kid yeah. we went to second grade with, this kid Eric Ross, who shit his pants. And um, literally everyone from that second grade, like, he's a. 
he's get, he got an MD PhD, which meant Holy he went shit. to he went to medical, medical school for four years and then a PhD in science for four years. And literally everyone I know, it was like a small private school. I keep in touch with some of them. Are like, oh yeah, you mean Eric who shit is fucking <laughs> like, like no matter how accomplished <laughs> he is in his life, he'll always be the dude That's that shit funny. his fucking pants and then cried about it like a bitch, dude. Like, like, well, um, so there's this guy Scott that used to. I mean. I think he used to date my sister or my stepsister. I can't remember. Did he fuck her? I mean, I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> nice. But, uh, well, I don't know. I knew him. I knew him. Me and Adam high five. I knew him. We had like a, a mutual friend circle or whatever. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, so he was at a party one time and I wasn't there, but he was at a party and he like went into the bathroom and he was all fucking drunk and he like locks the door. This is in his house. He like locks uh-huh. the door to the bathroom and people are like pounding on the door and like trying to get him to come out. And he won't come out. And eventually they just knock down the, the door to the bathroom or whatever. And he's in there and he's completely <laughs> naked. And he's ripped off. It's like one of those sliding doors to the shower. He's ripped the door off the shower and he's using it to cover himself. Oh and my the God. toilet's all backed up because he's tried to like flush all his clothes down the toilet. Because oh, no. he like shit himself or whatever. And they were like, just go home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so like he like, destroyed this bathroom, destroyed their toilet, shit himself. Very embarrassing. Embarrassing. And then, like, I don't know, two years after that, there was one night where me and, and like, all my friends were hanging out, and Scott's there, and I was there with, uh, yeah, my friend, like, Danny, and Danny was trying to, like, hook up with this girl, Alexa, and we were all hanging out, and uh, we were walking around, and Scott was, like, really hitting it off with Alexa. Oh, really? And Danny's there, and he's, like, bummed about it, and uh, we're, like, walking, and Danny just says to me, he's like, I got. I guess you just have to do it. Uh, hey Scott, remember when you like shit your pants at that party <laughs> and then fucking like left? And Scott's like, yeah, man, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I just love the way Danny was like, That's hilarious. yeah, I guess I have to do the it. The nuclear option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Did Scott? Uh, did who fucked Alexa? Remember. I don't remember. I don't think either of them did. But that Bummer. was that was so funny the way. You, yeah. <laughs> I guess I have well, to do it. No other options. <laughs> I yeah, can't yeah, just yeah. be a human being and not humiliate him. One time, yeah, I, that guy died. Which one? Danny. What the one that pants? did it. The one that said not the uh, shit pants. Well, he died of shitting his pants. No, he died of like an overdose. Karma. Like oh, the year. guy, the mean guy. He wasn't mean. He was actually a very nice guy. I thought it was funny. That's hilarious. I thought it was very funny. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, uh, I mean, it's okay because he's dead. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes up for anything bad you do. Rest anymore. in peace, dude. One yeah. percent of the Petraean money is going to go to his family. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's not, but it might. Mine will. I'm going to give one percent of my zero dollars to. <laughs> uh, I uh, one time I was uh, at a fucking high. It was like the the year after high school. It was like that summer after you know after. A year about to go into college. Maybe summer. it was the summer going into second year college, whatever. And every, so this goes, my friend Anna's having a big party, and I'm getting so fucking hammered. I'm just like, chug, you know, I'm just trying to be cool and like yeah. drink way too much. Like, chug a bottle, a whole bottle of liquor. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking good, man. I'm a fucking mm. cool guy. And I completely black out. And all I remember is like, I'm, I'm, I, I black out for a while, and I remember like people shaking me awake. I'm, Laying down on her deck, smoking a blunt that I don't know where it came from, and they're and I'm holding a pop tart in my hand, and they're like, "Stop! Did you shit and throw up all over the bathroom?" <laughs> and I was like, "No, it wasn't fucking me." And I'm holding up a, a strawberry pop tart. There was a trail of pop tart from the bathroom to the deck. Wait, you're eating while you're shitting? I don't. I mean, I don't fucking know. That's I just, so I just know that I was like, "No, it wasn't me." And there's a like car cartoon trail of yeah, pop tart yeah, yeah. to this fucking deck so and good. i still denied it and then i just threw and then I, I just woke up in and then all i remember is waking up in my fucking parents house in jorts which and uh, no underwear and then anna found the my underwear was in her neighbor's tree covered <laughs> in throw up <laughs> just fucking i just thrown it <laughs> off her fucking deck yeah i've never shit myself i've definitely thrown up all over myself yeah. numerous times while drunk but i've never shit myself yeah, dude. Uh, and not only did plenty. I do that, but when I when in her bathroom, I like 
I was holding on to the shower or something yeah. and like grabbed the pipe and it was there was a the only reason they even saw the bathroom is because their her fucking downstairs started flooding because <laughs> I fucking ripped a pipe out of the wall and I ripped oh the shower God. curtain and I was just laying on her fucking deck. <laughs> I did that at my mom's apartment when I was like fifteen. Shouts out to I was like all fucking like drunk or whatever and like tried to take a shower and just. Just trash the bathroom. Just ripped the fucking. It was like the shower curtain rod was yeah, one of the yeah. ones that attaches to the wall. I just ripped all the drywall out. <laughs> <laughs> just destroyed. Knocked all the shit over. She was like, "Were you drunk?" And I was like, oh, "No." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just had trouble getting into the shower. <laughs> I was just doing that for fun. I was destroying the house because I felt like a bitch. Get off my fucking back. Uh, I was hey. ADD, mom. <laughs> I was ADHD. I'm fucking. I'm ADHD, 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 ADHD. You're not allowed to be mean to me. I don't have to do homework. <laughs> they put me in a special class for people who don't have to do homework because we have potential. <laughs> I'm in a special potential class for kids that don't understand how to read. <laughs> I was in one of those they took me out of electives they took me out of electives and put me in like a fucking uh in this like please do your homework class yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah we just sit there they would literally give us candy if we like didn't like did our homework yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember I, it was like eighth grade and i remember there was one time there's only like 10 kids in that class all, pretty much all of them had emotional problems right. one kid was just like he spoke Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, thank you. He was like, he was like twelve, and he already looked like one of those Home Depot day right. laborer contractors Four, seven, outside. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three foot two, yeah. faux hawk, yeah. <laughs> wearing like Oshkosh Bagash full junkos. mustache. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. uh, yeah. And like, so there was like sixth graders in gym class. And, like, it was, like, you know, the windows face, like, and they were, like, walking somewhere, and somebody just started going, like, fuck you, fuck, and then everyone was at the window, like, you fucking faggots, fuck you faggots, you fucking faggots, and we're screaming, and the teacher was, like, guys, 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 calm down, and just all at the window, screaming, like, dogs, <laughs> like, dogs, and one starts barking, and the rest yeah. of you have to fucking chime in, <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that's yeah. so good yeah having an emotional problem ruled hell yeah dude yeah like remember the kid you know what you don't know, remember like kids that were like yeah i'm a fucking pyro dude yeah yeah, yeah. i've got multiple zip <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 is there adult pyros to be like a, like know. check this out just showing off like that's that would be the ultimate cat call is where you like corner a woman and then just make her watch your Zippo lighter tricks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you seen this one? Yeah, I remember Zippos being fucking cool. At which they make cigarettes taste fucking awful. I remember yeah. I, I had a Zippo when I was like fifteen. I'm like, nah, I can like smoke my cigarettes cool, and you smoke one cigarette with them, and it tastes like fucking the bot like the scrapings off like the bottom of like a barbecue. <laughs> it's disgusting. Like briquettes. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to be cool. Uh, you guys, uh, we should probably take a break. I'm gonna pee. Yeah. All right. yeah. Yeah, we'll take a break. I'm gonna get another coffee, and we'll be back. Wait. What? I said bye. Oh, okay. Well, it's not bye. We're taking a break. Okay. Well, how long do we do? We'll see anyway. Yeah. All right, we'll be back. We'll see you. In a second. Okay, we're back. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Uh, we have to be quick. Stav's in the bathroom. Stav's in the bathroom. So we're trying to do like, um, you know, like a good portion of the podcast when he's not here. And he's gonna come out. He's gonna be so pissed. We're doing this without him. We started already. Um, yeah, we, we, we should we do the? You want to do your your Boston 
guy. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the guy he wants to. Oh, fuck. Dude, we just did. Hey, guys, so ready, have you guys ready to start? Oh, that was so funny. What? Yeah, was what? Hilarious, dude. That what? Was, that what was, was probably funny? that's probably gonna be the funniest thing we ever did on the podcast. What are you, what are you guys talking about? We started the podcast without. We started you. without you. We couldn't yeah. wait while you're in the bathroom. What the fuck? Yeah, Popping yeah. your hemorrhoids or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> are you, can you pop hemorrhoids? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys do a really good bit without me? We no. did. We were talking no, about we you do. trying to use uh, a human sized toilet in there. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. sometimes wonder about you know people get fat enough where they can't wipe their own ass properly. Yeah, I, um, I've heard of some stuff like that. <laughs> it's probably a wives' tale though. Yeah. No, I mean it's <laughs> no. I know what you mean. There was some. There's like a Reddit. Uh, like the people uh, you have to cut they out of the house because it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh my and then God. they have to <laughs> bury them. <laughs> they have to bury them in the boxes. Pianos come in. <laughs> <laughs> That's your coffin. That's, That's hilarious. Fucking, yeah. Um. Yeah, those people are great because they always have somebody that makes them that fat. <laughs> there's always a feeder. Yeah, there's a, an enabler. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's always like a relationship. It's, a, no, it's like a mom who one of the kids died, so she yeah. wants the other one to like to be Just healthy. Be so I'm gonna make, well, sometimes I'm gonna make you cheeseburgers for breakfast. Well, people want to fuck them. Yeah, I want to see like a TLC show about like a morbidly obese person, but then the feeder is just like some guy. <laughs> you know, it's like somebody that just like you know, like yeah, you know, I live next door and. You know, I got laid off like six months ago, so I come over here and I give Dennis probably about six, seven cheeseburgers <laughs> about seven a.m. and then uh, and then I'll go home and you know watch Sports Center and then I come back over around noon and uh, <laughs> I like seven, eight, nine cheeseburgers. Um, Cheeseburger always yeah. is like the go-to for someone yeah. who's fat. Yeah. Hey, why don't you give me four fucking cheeseburgers, yeah, yeah. you piece of shit? It's yeah. like fat people will eat literally anything. I don't know why burger gets. You know, gets to be the one. Pizza, hot dogs. There are a lot of different kinds of Chinese food. Yeah, because a cheeseburger always feels gluttonous. That's true. Like, that's if if you're having like cheat meals, it's always a cheeseburger. Yeah. Dude, it's like I'm being a bad girl. You know what's gluttonous as hell? I deserve that. (laughs) I fucking deserve that. Oh, yeah. Cheeseburger and fries. So, our new character is. uh, Oh, that's good. uh, Dumb bitch. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? I fucking deserve it. I don't suck cock ever. (laughs) But I also love sucking (laughs) cock. That's my duality. All right. Well, are you taking the character away from me or. Yeah, it's mine now, bitch. All right. Do something about it. You know what? I would, but uh, I'm a professional. So You're a little you bitch. know what's weird is when comics do that, like a a girl voice on stage, and it just sounds like the gayest guy of all time. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bill Burr is the only one that does a good girl voice. Yeah, he does. This a good guy one. Uh, and Ramin Nazer does a girl, good girl voice. Like a, it's flawless. It's really funny. He's like uh, he does his bit where he's like um, uh, he's like uh, he goes. My name is Britlin. It's like Britney and Caitlin, but better. <laughs> <laughs> but he like can do, he can like change the pitch of his voice, so it just sounds. It doesn't sound like a guy doing a girl voice. Right, 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 right. Uh-huh. right. We'll yeah. take your word for it. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Well, <laughs> neither of you guys know a guy that does a fucking <laughs> can't do an impression of another guy doing a fucking thing. So that's my D. I will. Please um, do. What were we talking about? Being gluttonous. You know what I started doing when my life is really falling apart is just getting mayonnaise on bagels and like sausage egg. Oh, that's sausage good. egg and little little tomato and some mayo in that's there. That's really delicious. Mayo in a fucking breakfast. I think that's. I don't know, man. That's well, even tough. when you make a bagel sandwich, just when you put the mayo, so there's mayo something that there, happens. Dude. Like even if you're putting turkey oh, and lettuce. Fuck. I go with mustard. Mustard is my condiment of Mustard. Choice. Get the fuck out of here, Mustard's dude. delicious. There's it's no... also non-caloric, oh. and it's good for you. I you just found out <laughs> recently aioli <laughs> is just bagging. mayonnaise. Yeah, it's just yeah, mayonnaise with, gar- with like yeah. olive oil instead of yep. canola oil, the way they make the mayonnaise, I think. <laughs> How do you know so much about... You have, you have like uh, access to a secret how it's made that's just <laughs> no, condiments. Dude, I'm into... I fucking... I cooked. I had, You're a I good spent, cook. Yeah, I yeah, but nobody like cooks their own man. I mean, I, I make my own mayonnaise. mayonnaise. My roommate. Ma- well, I make my own chef, mayonnaise, but, bitch. Yeah. Why would you make it's your the own egg mayonnaise? yolks and fucking oil? It's yeah, easy but then you got to emulsify it, and it's like kind of yeah. I got an emulsion blender. Do you really? I really literally yeah, oh have an emulsion blender. I've only yeah. ever done it by hand. I can make soups. I used to make my own salad dressing. Really nice. Fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, that sucks. Gotta get an emulsion blender, dude. Come over. Let's use the emulsion. I like how you're making fun of me for buying a saw, and you have. 
Oh, you have a blender just for mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> it's for soups too, bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why don't you come over and try my mayonnaise blender? <laughs> you fucking retard, autistic piece of shit. You have to buy a saw to I build things to do something with my life. Yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, they used to make. I can't wait till you fucking country. fall. I'm you're sleeping fall. on your fucking. I'm bed. not gonna fall. It's an ugly bed, but it's not gonna fall. I can't wait till it happens. You're out of your fucking mind. You know I just about. don't understand why you didn't make your, <laughs> your bed to the size of a regulation twin size mattress. Because it would take up half the room. A twin? Yeah. A twin is a twin's thirty nine inches. Nick built his own bed. Mattress. Do people why? know this? What's that? That you built your own bed? Did we talk about this last yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I, but last week I built the desk. Now I built the bed. I built a loft Nick bed. built a loft bed. Now I'm building a dresser. Uh huh. And then I need to build. I mean, the rest is easy. It's shelving, and I'm putting pegboard up. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you guys, this is like a DIY podcast. Uh, number one tip: you gotta just get a shit ton of tools. <laughs> Real expensive, <laughs> nice tools. You go to Home Depot. You make friends with one of the guys there. Yeah. Everyone who works at Home Depot is a fucking asshole, by the way. Yeah, it's oh, true. Yeah. Every single time I'm there, well, I'm no, you know They're what like, it is. Well, what are you building? <laughs> you know, I, it's like, don't worry about it. This is specifically what I asked for. They're like, well, it depends on what you need it for. No, it doesn't. Just tell me where it is. You, you know what it is, weird. though? I think it's like a male-female thing. I used to live by, like, a, a hardware store, and, like, my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend went to, like, get something. She's like, they are so nice at yeah. that hardware store. I was like, no. no it's all they are of, so fucking it's mean. It's all unemployed contractors with, like, forearm autism hmm. where they know a shit ton about screws and they have no social skills. <laughs> and any anything anything you fucking ask them for at Home Depot, they're gonna try and use it as an opportunity to tell you why you're wrong. I went in there looking for like um, like a like a pocket hole jig, like a like a, a jig to drill holes mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. went smaller than like a quarter inch for like smaller than quarter inch drill bits. And the guy was like, "I'll tell you, I've been hardware for, for uh, 20 years. I'm not saying you're lying, but I've never seen anything." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not right. saying you're yeah. lying. Yeah, right, you. Which is you? Yes, yeah. you, then don't say that. Were you a police officer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just ask you if you have something. You just say no. I don't. You also could have just said I've never heard of that. Yeah. Why yeah, even? Yeah. He's implying that you are lying. Yeah. He's yeah. Just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, you caught me. <laughs> yeah. I like to come in here and ask for things that don't exist. Oh uh, fuck! Did you ever find it, buddy? Uh, Lowe's sells one. Nice. Yeah. So if you're looking for one of those things, guys, you gotta go, go to, to Lowe's. Gotta go to Lowe's. Unfortunately, I don't live near a Lowe's. No Lowe's around here. Uh, I guess it is all Home Depot. In Home New Depot. York, huh? it's yeah. Home Depot. Yeah, like uh, everywhere. There's Home Depots everywhere. There's just under a mile away. Not everywhere. Here, yeah. There's fucking. There's some in Man. There's two in Manhattan. There's one in Astoria. There's That's two not near everywhere. Astoria. The, there's was, one in like Midtown. There's a Home there's, Depot yeah, there's Midtown. in Midtown. Well, there's Midtown Lumber, which is great, and Prince Lumber in in Midtown Manhattan, and both of those are like you know far superior if you just need like lumber and stuff. Mm -hmm. Midtown is probably the best. Um, they're sponsoring us. I'm pr I, I really lumber. want to practice live reads. So Let's we can do get, one. Do you want to contact Midtown Lumber and see if they'll sponsor Come Town? <laughs> Do God. we want to? Yeah. Yeah, I will. We got a hot pod going right now at this Fuck hardware yes. talk. Yeah. Well, nothing's going on. I've been watching Can we get Flashlight to spoil spot on HBO? Yeah. Real good. What are, you, what are you talking over me for? What were you saying? I stopped talking. I said, can we get Fleshlight to sponsor us? Probably. Actually, they Let's sponsored Moon Tower. I got a free Fleshlight. Did I ever tell you that story? No. <laughs> I got a free... Everyone who did Moon Tower a couple years ago got a free Fleshlight. Yeah, yeah. And then I tried to bring it back on the plane with me. And I thought, like, they probably see these things all the time. So I just put it in my bag and didn't think about it. Uh, it completely incorrect. <laughs> They they pulled me aside. TSA? They took my bag. TSA. Oh, they took yes. nine agents and they brought the fucking manager over and they pull oh, it out. Oh, that's incredible. And they're like fingering it. I'm like, it was free. I just did this festival. They gave them to everyone. I didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, I don't fuck it. Oh, you took it on your carry on. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I only ha I only ever take a yeah, carry on. Yeah, I don't yeah, ever yeah. check a bag. Yeah, I you know, go out like of town for bucks, a fucking yeah. week. I don't need to. Right. That's for women, I think. If you go on vacation, they're like, you, yeah, know, yeah. you yeah, have to no. bring every piece of clothing I have. Yeah, to bring a hair on. dryer, like wherever <laughs> you're going, is it going to have a hair dryer? I don't even bring a toothbrush because uh, most hotels they yeah. just have them at the desk. Mm -hmm. They have little shitty ones. Yeah, but then you know, if you bring a full size tube of toothpaste, they make you throw it out at the fucking right, airport. Right, right. Unless you keep those travel things. 
What happened with the flashlight, dude? Oh, yeah. So it was horribly embarrassing. <laughs> um, that everyone... Were they know, just laughing at you when they found out? Uh, no, I mean, they were, like, smirking or whatever. I'm sure that made their fucking week. <laughs> yeah, of course. Fuck them. I hope they get... You didn't... Did you take it with you? Well, yeah. I mean, I was, like, I just, like, I ran with the... It, it was inside out, so the vagina part is, like, flapping around <laughs> while I'm, like, running to my gate because I was late for my flight. And then I ended up fucking the thing, like, one time. And, uh, it's great. Yeah. But as soon as you come, it's like, oh, like the amount of shame. Absolutely. It's almost like you had just Fuck fucked me. your sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that kind of feeling. <laughs> like that, this incestual feeling. Yeah. When you ejaculate into like a contraption. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just coming in general, the second after you come, no matter what. No, you like just bad. beating off like regular. Because I, I always go dry, you know. Of course, I'm there oh, with yeah. you. Dry jack. I don't think I've used lubrication to beat off. And like, I'm a dry jackman probably myself. Probably twelve years. And, yeah, I did uh, it a couple times. Like when you're little, because people always say you have to. Yeah, but I'm dry. Yeah, dry um, every time. Yeah, and so I was so ashamed, and I put it in this bag of shoes <laughs> in my room <laughs> that I just like shoes I wasn't wearing anymore. You wait, you didn't clean it. They just <laughs> no. I mean, there's oh. no. There's a way to. There's clean a baby. It. I, didn't, baby I wasn't gonna go dig up. the instructions out of the fucking. Can you just run through water? Or something? I'm not gonna. I live with nine dishwasher. other people. I'm not gonna go into the kitchen <laughs> and be like, oh, it's thermos. For, it's for soup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, just, so I put it in uh, that bag, and then I like went to go help my mom like uh, remove the flooring in her apartment. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then I came back, and I was like, I feel like there's something I forgot. And then she like called me like uh, two days later. She's like, Did you leave your fucking pocket pussy here? <laughs> <laughs> and that bag of shoes. That's so fucking. And I was funny. like, "Yes, but don't, uh, don't touch it." <laughs> <laughs> so your mom has your flashlight. Uh, she threw it out. Oh, oh what, what a, a bitch. bitch! Yeah, dude, it's Fuck. like that that Beastie Boy song. Your mom threw out your best porno mags, except instead of porno mags, <laughs> it's the f fake vagina that I had sex with one time. <laughs> Only once, at huh? age twenty-five. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, this comes just rotting in it for a fucking week. I'm not going to be like, well, oh, let's see. That's the thing. It was already a fake vagina, and then it became like a dead vagina. <laughs> That's the interesting thing about fucking sex dolls is like, presumably, like those real dolls, presumably you come inside of those. Yeah. yeah. And that must be a nightmare to clean. How do you get inside? Do you have just like a fucking... It's a vacuum. A vacuum, a they have jizz a, a, vacuum. A, 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 yeah, it looked there's like a it looks like a dildo that attaches the end of a vacuum, and then you stick it in the real. You, really? Yeah, yeah, and then you suck all the cum out backwards. That sounds tight. It sounds like you could just put your dick in that, or it sucks your dick. Yeah, you put the dick in your mouth. Oh, that sounds hot. Yeah, and then, and then the suction, or your ass. The suction makes your mouth close around the dick even harder. <laughs> <laughs> that actually would be pretty cool. A vacuum that hooks up to a, a dildo that's got a urethra in it, and you put it in your ass. And then it like it uses your the asshole? suction to make your ass even tighter, and then mm. you fuck yourself. <laughs> interesting. You fuck yourself interesting. With the vacuum, and then it hooks that up does, to a bicycle, so you can that pedal. does sound cool, <laughs> <laughs> Nick. That is that is the word I would use. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody would buy it. You know what's funny? My dad's been like, he's inventing something, and he won't tell anyone what it is. He's just got all these like drill presses in like a corner of his apartment, and he's like. You know, Get the fuck out of here. I don't know, inventing something. And he's like very secretive about what it is. What if it was that? That'd be so awesome. Yeah, a fucking <laughs> machine? Yeah, it's a dildo that hooks up to a vacuum so it sucks your ass closed around the dildo. <laughs> So that you, you, that you can feel extra it. Hard. You can feel it, but you don't have to worry about spreading your asshole out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't loosen your ass up. You keep it nice and tight. That is my biggest worry when I fuck myself with a dildo. Yeah. Well, cool. You guys got anything? I'm gonna applaud Dude, you. Um, yeah, babe. Yeah, if the cum heads out in Baltimore, you know, I'm gonna be in fucking Joe Square this Thursday. Tomorrow, I think. Is that tomorrow? What's today? When is this coming out? Tomorrow? Wednesday? Uh, yeah, Tuesday night. Yeah, this baby. Is, uh, we gotta. I, I keep asking. Kurt Metzger is supposed to be on, but we keep uh, having scheduling issues, and then I'm kind of like tapped out as far as guests go. I, well, mean, I could ask. Bobby, I yeah, guess. Yeah, we might have Bobby on or something, or Adam. I mean, we could talk Adam about met it. John Totoro the other day. I met, I, I, yeah, I, I met John Totoro, and I said, oh, what's up, big fan? You want to do my podcast? And then he's like, no. And then I was like, you don't, you don't even know, you, you want to know the name of the podcast? 
And he's like, what is it? And I'm like, come town. He's like, I don't want to do your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. 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 Did Why don't we did talk you about this? Did you go, look in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Please look in your heart. Where did you meet John Tutu? I met him uh, downtown. Like, don't fucking worry about it, bitch. Why don't you mind your own fucking business, <laughs> dude? You, why, Why you got to be up in everybody's so, business about hanging out with John Tutu? bitch. Yeah, well, him, maybe uh, we want to hang out with John Tutura by ourselves and oh, not fucking involved. Are you to freeze me you. out of John fucking Tutura? Yeah, thing? sometimes. I feel like, you know, we, <laughs> me and Adam have certain celebrity friends <laughs> yeah. that are off limits. Dude, it's don't true. touch. Dude, it's come true. on. If touch. you were my friend, you'd let me hang out with John Tutura too. Nope. John Tutura, personal friend. Tom well, we Sizemore, did. personal friend. We did get uh, Seth Rogen's phone number from... Uh, from DC. From David Cross. Yeah. So we're, we, I'll just call that number from this D week Cross. and set up an a interview. And then next week, if, if we oh, want, nice. we can just call uh, Seth yeah, Rogen. We'll He's Seth a Rogen. Big, big star. I've, I've seen him on a couple of things, so... Seth Rogen, the journalist that was punched in the face by Dan <laughs> Nine. <Nynan>. Dan <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, yeah, we haven't talked about Dan Ninen really on the podcast. Ooh, yeah. And at some point, I teased the fucking Dave show for deep dive. We're gonna go into it. I'm gonna fucking do. Why some don't we research. just do it now? I haven't done enough research. I want to have good anecdotes. I want to, you know, fuck that is Uncle planning, Dave though. Fucking, Uncle Dave, comedy. such a bitch, dude. Just tell the Dave show for story. I don't have that. I need to just couple fucking more. do it. I don't have, I'm not You're ruining our friendship with John Totoro, dude. If I won't tell the Dave show for stories until what you is let Totoro me Italian Dan for. Totoro. Uh, it's a uh, pussy, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the 12 that. places. That's yeah, French. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's French. You yeah, fucking right. idiot. Yeah. Um, uh, Italian, same thing. Itali- you know, it's it's hard to decide who's more disgusting, the French or the Italians. Oh, the Italians, by far. Really? Uh, I yeah, think darker the skin. F- <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. Now, let me get one, one of them <laughs> Chesterfields. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, a good scene. Man, I'm um, really fucked I up. The French yeah, top, sneaky, top, top three movie scenes: uh, the Chesterfield scene, uh, the DNS scene from uh, uh, Pulp Fiction, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the the uh, Last Tango in Paris, Marlon Brando uh, um, butter f- uh, ass fuck scene. Every t- every time you hear the N word in uh, Django and Jane, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Every We're time Leonardo DiCaprio's character says the N word, yeah, yeah. Um, and whenever they say the N word in Reservoir Dogs, yeah, oh yeah, hell yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Plenty of, yeah. Any N-word in any Tarantino you movie, know a movie not I watched, said by a black character. I watched, Those I, are the best movie scenes of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Turner Classic Movies presents... <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> White people in Tarantino movies <laughs> saying the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Just a supercut. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bad so supercut. Yeah, that'd yeah, be we great. Should, we should do that. Somebody's no, we shouldn't. Donald Trump will <laughs> retweet dude, it. That's fucking. We can't be those guys. We got to be better than that. I we gotta not fun. be racist. We gotta make fun of those guys. We are by that's doing it. We do. be making fun yeah, of them. That's what we're though. doing, dude. So it's irony. Dude. As long as it's irony. It's irony, dude. You guys hear about this uh, TPP thing? Oh yeah, dude, Trans Trump Pussy. Pence Pence Trans Pacific uh, Partnership. Oh, oh, oh so we get the right. trans- We got Trans Pacific Partnership. We got transsexuals and the Chinese teaming up, folks. <laughs> that's what they're doing, dude. They're putting they're putting transsexuals from Asia in storage containers. And they're sex trading yeah. them to the United the States. The transporter. It's Jason only- Statham with a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and the and only person beating that's up <laughs> Chinese people with a candelabra. <laughs> <laughs> and the only person that's going to stop him is Bernie Sanders, dude. He's the last. He's our Bernie. last. Journey. I still have some hope, dude. I think he can yeah. still do this. I, I think Bernie still got him, this, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm still gonna fucking, write him in. Yo, I just found out about. Oh man. So there's this comic Sariel, and he had this dumbass I roommate. That guy. Yeah, yeah, he had this dumbass roommate, Chris from Jersey, and it was like. Late 2007, probably like August 2007. And you found out about 9-11? No, no, no. <laughs> he's driving behind somebody who had an Obama bumper sticker. Yeah, yeah. And he's like texting pictures of it to people. He's like, yo, check this out. This is somebody running for office called Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because he's a Bama? Yeah, he's a Bama. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's like trying to show that to people. That's DC incredible. slang Bama is like an idiot. No, it's country. It's like a country. Like a Bama con- is yeah, like yeah. a fucking hick or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's r- regional. I think, I think it's it is. DC. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. DMV. Um, Trans Pacific Partnership. Jeez, man. Well, we got to get more. What is it? Tran- transgenders eating sushi? This probably <laughs> we could riff this out, guys. Let's riff this it out. Trans Pacific Partnership. Uh, They're getting the the best lady boys from Southeast Asia. Hell yeah! They're bringing. They are over. the best ones. 
I mean, what? They're human trafficking them here, and it was all Obama's plan. Well, they actually perfected the surgery. They use uh, intricate, uh, like, uh, the way they attach the penis. No nails or screws or wood glue. <laughs> seamless. All, the joints all, are yeah, seamless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, like, dovetails and yeah, yeah, yeah. interlocking. Some of the best woodworking <laughs> I've seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know when they, you know, like Chinese people blow those, like, little bubbles into like crystal and make the dragons yeah yeah yeah. uh that's how they do the vagina. i don't but yes you know it's like in like you go to the chinese like you know gift shops yeah, yeah gift shops they just sell chinese shit they always have those like horses or dragons oh they're, yes they'll have like a piece of like uh i don't know what the material is jade jade yeah and then they'll blow like bubbles into it nice and create like they a, blow a pussy into it yeah yeah and that's nice, how they nice. do it um, all of all of their vaginas are made out of rice paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's Oregon. Come on, man. Uh, Woo! Well, that fulfills That's pretty good. the requirement to. That's pretty good stuff. Yeah, r- race it up. Um, all right, folks. Well, that was this episode. Thank you. Good night. Bye.